Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more The Lion King. Uh, so let's go back into options and give that Barry another shot. Yay, first time! And let's go to The Stampede. Go back in and set it back to normal. And yeah, The Stampede. So, yeah, this is a pretty interesting level. Oh my gosh, I really wish it was easier to tell which lane these guys were running in. Because, yeah, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, these guys are kind of split into five different lanes. And you just want to make sure you're not in the one that they're in. Uh, you also might need to jump over some rocks. Sometimes I thought they were in the middle three lanes. Yeah, it's not always super obvious exactly what you've got to do in this game. That is one legitimate complaint I have, whether it's not knowing exactly where to touch a hippo's tail, as odd as that sounds, or whether it's knowing, like, which lane these guys are in. It can be a bit tricky. But at lo as long as you know the timing on the rocks, you can jump over those. Uh, and I fail as soon as I say that, because, I mean, what else would happen, right? Well, I've got half my health left, and I don't know how much longer this level lasts, and I can't take another hit. One thing that really concerns me about this level is that with it having a completely different uh, gameplay style to the rest of the game, I'm wondering how long this level is and if it has any checkpoints. Not that a checkpoint would help me now, now that I have zero lives, but I really hope that if it's if it really is that long, it better have a checkpoint. Ultimately, though, this level might just come down to sheer memorization. Well, mostly memorization. I mean, you can see a bit of what you need to know. Okay, that's my first hit. I take three more, I lose. But I'm actually doing pretty well on this run, I think. Like I said, I don't know how long this is. Oh, that's two hits. Oh, I did it! Kill him. Oh man. Simba's Exile. Whoa. Which way... Is it safe to go on the right path? Well, it looks like it was, but there is... But there was nothing there. Ooh, there's a full health restore down here. And it looks like uh, some brambles if I go down further. Yeah, I don't want to land on that. Look at all the brambles in the background. This is Bramble Scramble. Playing some Donkey Kong Country. It 
it does help to roar at those guys. I found out. You just want to make sure you do it from far away. I did not see that coming. Okay, let's try that again. Now that we know a boulder will be coming, we will be prepared for it. And I sang that out of tune on purpose because I wasn't sure if I really wanted to sing it. I like started out wanting to sing it and then I'm like, I'll sound stupid if I sing it. So let's not sing it. And then I made myself sound more stupid by singing it out of tone. <laughs> Okay, I know I can heal with the bug down here. That's not where the bug is. This is where I died. Okay, here's where the boulder is. Oh gosh, I didn't realize there would be a porcupine in the way. So I guess I'm going to have to roll into that porcupine. Good thing I found out you can do that. They're going all out with the platforming now, it looks like. I hope I actually find my... I should have jumped up there and let the boulder go by me. And game over. But yeah, I hope that I can actually grab things well, unlike on level 2. Anyways, thankfully we've got Barry to help us out here. I said we've got Barry to- thank you. Yes. Barry, I don't know who you are, but I'm very glad you put this cheat in. Simba's Exile. And Normal Difficulty. It starts. I, I don't even understand how someone would beat this game without the cheat. And it wasn't letting me jump to the right for some reason, but whatever. This game's few control flaws aside, you know, they don't bother me too much. It's an old game. What do you expect? I didn't expect a porcupine pit, that's for sure. And I shouldn't have expected to be able to grab that ledge when I wanted to, because it's this game. Uh You know, this isn't a bad game. This is actually a pretty good game. Aside from just the few control issues I have every once in a while. I wouldn't even say the difficulty is bad, because, you know, if you're having a hard time with a game, it's not the game that's bad, it's, you're that, it's you that's bad at the game. So I feel like you really can't judge a game based on its difficulty. Oh my gosh, I forgot that that hurts me when I get to it from below. But yeah, so I am enjoying this game, but we are definitely having some issues here and there. It's not flawless. And it's definitely not easy. As I've said many times now, many of those times being off screen, because I just had to cut out so many fails. Because it was just taking me forever to get through some of the. Uh, 
to get through some sections in this game. There we go. Oh gosh! Not the brambles. Save Bramble Blast for Donkey Kong. Oh, really? Rock in my face. The king has returned. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh. And I don't think there's any place to heal coming up soon either. I really, I really wish there were some more checkpoints and healing spots. It would be so helpful. Oh my gosh, brambles, why? And I don't understand what I what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, I can make that jump. Oh. At the very least, we made it through Stampede in this video. <laughs> we did that very early on in this video. But we did it. I'm getting pretty experienced with the early parts in these levels, though. Getting pretty good at those. Oh, I can grab that? Okay, oh, I'm gonna fall for that every time. Alright, made it. Oh gosh. Okay, I thought something was gonna come for me. And of course there's always these rocks to worry about. And even if I would have ran all the way across that, I would have just hit a wall. So that's wonderful. And still no checkpoint. So I guess most of this video is just an extended preview of what we're gonna be doing in the next video. Unless I somehow make a miracle happen here. Which doesn't look like it's happening. Not that, not like that. And also considering the fact that I always fall for those one brambles. And I apparently touched the boulder there. Wonderful. Well, a bit of a short video, but I'm gonna call it there. Uh, yeah. So, we did Stampede, we did the Stampede. In the next episode, we're gonna be doing Simba's Exile. And probably not much more, because as hard as this game is, we've been doing this at a rate of a level per episode, so... Man. Yeah, so uh, we'll, I'm the Terminian Hero, and I'll see you next time for Simba's Exile. See you then.